past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. there? A friend of the temple. Flaurak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. Betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope? The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masaya. Anarchic delusions of virulence as a plague, less easily eradicated. Ah. 
We will not prevail this night. But if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, Go! I will. Clement, hear me? 
Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Not the likes of you. Do you know what the penalty is for stealing?
I want to talk to you right bloody now. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of hey, the criminals, Father? we should all be called... Come barbarians. here, girls, now. Father? Fairly at cards, so you stoop the thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Ooh, step lightly there, you'll hurt yourself. Ah! You just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. I I say. Sorry. Oh. Pardon, madam. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. He get it, blacksmith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back here! Au voleur! Préparez-vous de lui! Keeping up? Shall I follow break?
And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arbor and a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshalsea would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here. Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. Sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Nous thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Bad luck, man. You'll have to Make go way, around. make way! All over. What was that? Damn it, slow down!
Apparently, walnut is a popular finish this season. Who is driving this coach, Pelops? What I need is a bird's eye view. There you are. Stay. 
on you. You cannot move forward. Stay back. Je n'ai pas arrêté de vous le répéter. C'est peut-être mieux ainsi. Mais il s'agit de votre prêt. Que pouvons-nous faire C'est peut-être mieux ainsi. Peu visible ce temps-ci, on ne voit fait. presque plus rien. La population. Mais comment peut-on accepter qu'on laisse un sauvage en liberté Cela passera. Un instant. Les états généraux. Et quoi, c'est la convocation de ces assemblées Je n'ai pas balancé à rétablir un usage dont le royaume peut tirer une nouvelle force de la et qui peut ouvrir à la nation une nouvelle source de bonheur. La dette de l'État, déjà immense à mon avènement des trônes, s'est encore accrue en règne. Une guerre dispendieuse, mais honorable. On a été la suite nécessaire et a rendu plus sensible leur inégale répartition. Une attitude générale, un désir exagéré d'innovation se sont emparés des esprits et finiraient par égaler totalement les opinions. Par une réunion d'avissage, c'est modéré. que je vous ai rassemblé et je vois avec sensibilité qu'elle a déjà été justifiée par les dispositions que les deux premiers ordres ont montré à So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. Easy, big fella. You can't take us both at once! 
Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, stop! What are you doing there? Uh, running! Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Senor de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. de Monsieur d'Artagnan, Elise's favorite. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Le traité du monde et de la lumière de Descartes. 
Never could get through that one. Les tragiques. Too depressing. I'd best not leave without dropping off this letter. Elise never enjoyed these high society balls. She'll be home soon. And sound and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre, no guest. Oh no. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet, two guests. Next, please. Quite the turnout. Quite! Let me back in if I do. What? Certainly not. Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. the 
turnout this evening. I can't remember the last time we were all together like this. It must have been that business. M'accorderiez-vous cette danse pour gentilhomme? Merci. Un autre jour. She always did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. My father's suit. <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? You don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? It's Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! Who's even going to come out here? Ten to one, I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. You're right, Monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. Sivir, come away. Guards, help. Murder. Bon Dieu, he's killed Lord de la Serre.
it wasn't me. Damio wielded the knife. Please, have mercy. Gaia est omnis divisa in partes tres. They're killing us! Oh, God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here! That's enough of that, you degenerate. <laughs> Where am I? In hell. Welcome to your new home. Hello? I must speak to someone! Where'd you come by this, Pisspot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. broken antique. The only broken antique in here is flapping his idiot jaw. Say that again. I have nothing more to say, old man. Give me what's mine, 
and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings? He's here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss boy. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. Of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. Well, 76, 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. If you stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Citizens are restless. Keep an ear open. Opportunity might just come knocking soon. That was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners. Follow the lead. Prisoners up against the wall. On whose authority? I told you this was going to end badly. Silence! Stay back! Prisoners up against the wall. Stay back! for a bit, piss pop. One of them stabs me. I'll haunt you to an early grave.
Fire, damn you! Stop the prisoners! <coughs> no way! Fuck in your cell! Prisoners! There's no way to run them! Throw down your weapon! <coughs> Stop right there! Where now? Up! Brilliant! And how do we get down again? Trust me! I surrender! I surrender! What are you waiting for, Pisspot? It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up here! I can't, that's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! You can pluck your head out of your own arts. Come find us. You'll make a great fit. Goodbye, piss pot! You! Back away from the ledge! Please? That's some welcome. One can't be too careful. But after what happened... Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arno. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin. Me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't. Is that...? A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. Unopened. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please.
is this supposed to be? qui a bouleversé notre temps. L'homme qui a inspiré la création de l'Assemblée Constituante. Ça tous les jours. Au moins. I suppose a simple address would be too mundane. What am I supposed to do with this medallion?
Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? A sanctuary. A place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. Didn't we just escape from a dungeon? It's not a dungeon. It's a nerve center. In these tunnels, we can get anywhere in the city, all without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for 600 years, Pisspot. Mm-hmm. And how long were you standing in the dark waiting for me? Not long. Guillaume spotted you from the bell tower. Well, it was quite the entrance. Are you mocking me? No, no. God's truth, very theatrical. Shut up. We're here. The candidate will approach. So, the son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come, but changed your mind. I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. Inna the Nubahu tukkilu kailai. Hal anta muta akkidon min? Anna kathalik. Inna hu kadnira ala muajati el muakama. Seikunu jaidan. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Then drink.
Father! Where is that boy? We should be well away. Father, it's me! I'm here! are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Oh, 
Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We looked at a media file from Abdergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play. Sit back and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, Precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right.
Go to the next sequence. I've got something else for you. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies, so they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map. Let's go! 